you really see me in the most amazing looks in these vlogs. This morning I've just been working on some commissions. Well, only one so far, it's been quite slow. Um, this commission is a dress and it's been a while since I've made a dress on my knitting machine so I'm kind of just taking my time and getting all the measurements right. If you are interested in knowing what my process is like when I create my commissions or anything on my knitting machine, this is basically an insight into my brain when I'm making these things. I'm a very digital person, like all my calendars are on my laptop, everything's on my phone. But this is the one thing that I just cannot digitize is my like patterns and processes and stuff. It's all a mess. I think this is what helps me when I recreate pieces, is seeing my thought process of how I got to a certain measurement or a certain stitch amount. This is how I can then sort of refer back to it. So far, I've made the back piece and the front piece for my dress. I'm currently trying out like a raglan style um, on my knitting machine. So we'll see how that goes. I think if I get it right, it will really improve my dress designs to make them fit like even nicer. And then I just made the sleeve for it, but I made it way too small. This is the sleeve after I've steamed it. So you can see it's way too small and essentially I'm just going to double all of my measurements. So I'm going to double the amount of stitches I cast on and um, the amount of increases I'm doing. And then I, I'm sure it should be fine. I can't lie, these commissions have taken a lot longer than what I initially aimed for. I was hoping to have them done this morning. Um, and as you can see, it is now dark, so I am still going. I'm now seaming one of the commissions, which is going to be a dress. I'm just seaming the sides, and I actually really love this part um, of seaming my panels together. I know some people like to seam using the actual machine as well, but I think after working on the machine for a while, I just look forward to sitting on the couch and doing something by hand. As much as I love working my knitting machine, it does not have that like cozy effect. Um, and I'm concentrating so much on the machine itself that when I get to seam something together, I can sit on the couch, I can watch something. I didn't actually get to finish the other commission that I worked on today. So I'm gonna have to get up early tomorrow and try and finish it before work, just because I want to be able to block and steam these commissions tomorrow after work so that I can send them off on Wednesday. So it's gonna be a busy couple of days. I really miss planned my October month and it's really busy. Obviously I was in Copenhagen last week and this week I'm going to London for a night. I'm definitely struggling this week to kind of make everything happen and I'm definitely over ambitious I think with how much time I would like to have in the day and how much time there actually is. So there's been a lot of miscalculation on my part. I'm trying so hard not to have a breakdown right now. Um, I just steamed both the commissions and I don't like either of them. I will have to redo the top and some of the dress, which means I'm going to have to take apart the majority of the seams of the dress, which is incredibly frustrating because that's what I spent all night yesterday doing. So I'm just undoing my work. And I'm just stressing about time because the people for these commissions have been waiting for a while because I was waiting on my yarn order to arrive. And it's just delaying everything, which means that the other things that I've had to put on, like, hold, also need to be moved back. And it's really stressing me out. I've definitely messed up my time management <laughs> for this week. I'm just getting ready for work and having some breakfast, but... I want to make a little crochet bow for my hair because at the moment I'm kind of wearing it back like I'm clipping it and then putting it in a tiny little bun at the back hold on I'll try and show you it's a tiny literally the tiniest little bun but I think if I put a little bow around it we'll make it a lot cuter all right let's have a look what yarn I could use this is where I keep 
all of my cones. These are my moth prevention methods. I have moth traps and some lavender. But yeah, I think I'm going, I'm looking for this one. Actually, I feel like it's not as effective as I was hoping it would be. It's quite thin. Maybe I'm gonna have to try this again properly when I have a bit more time and make it a bit thicker. It's been a couple of days. I was going to take you along on my last couple of days because we went to London to see Blink 182, which was incredible. I literally ended up filming about nothing. I filmed a few clips for my Instagram story, but that was it really. The gig was amazing. I was just really worried because I hadn't been to an arena gig since I was a child and the gigs I usually go to are very small and it was absolutely fine we had an incredible view in the end as well it's just I think I've seen all the videos on TikTok and stuff about people queuing for so long and passing out in the crowd and stuff like that I was just getting a little bit anxious but I did have an amazing time today I was doing a big big wardrobe clean out which was necessary which i didn't realize it was i honestly thought i was going to get rid of like a few pieces um but no i got rid of a lot let me show you this is everything that i'm getting rid of there's a few things over there that i'm just going to put in the tragedy shop but i need to now take photos of all of this to put on vintage and if you have ever sold anything on vintage you know this is going to take a long time so i'm just going to try and get through take photos of everything i am really happy with how the wardrobe is looking i've bought a few new pieces over the last couple of days so there's more room for it now i did also want to take photos of every item in my wardrobe that i'm keeping to put on like a wardrobe app and um, the one i'm using currently is wearing because that one just had the most reviews on the app store and i feel like that one is a lot more popular in the uk than open wardrobe but if anyone has any recommendations on what wardrobe app they use please let me know because I'm still not 100% sure which one I want to use and I want to make sure I've picked one before I start uploading all my items because that also takes a long time but I don't think I'll be doing that today I think uploading everything to Vinted is going to take up enough of my day anyways I finally uploaded everything on Vinted there's like 40 plus items on there I am putting up everything for so cheap just because I want it gone so I'll put the link to my Vinted account in the description if you are interested in shopping the items if there is still stuff left um if not then that's great for me <laughs> so i was gonna show you my outfit yesterday but i completely forgot or i didn't really forget i just ran out of time i was rushing around to get ready so much it was pretty horrible i was just packing up all of my vintage parcels i'm sending an order and i'm returning some clothing I'm working on the Grand Square jumper and it's coming along quite nicely. This is like all of the body pretty much done. And then I am now working on the arms here. And then I think I'll add the turtleneck at the end. And I am actually considering for this one to not do the turtleneck and just knit like a thicker like mock neck. Um, but for the tutorial's sake, I'll do the turtleneck to show you guys how to do it. And then um, I think for my own personal use, I will take it apart and just knit in the round. Um, but it is coming together really nicely. I'm sort of following a diagram that I made so that you can join pretty much everything in one go. And I find that really helpful. So I now just need to actually show you how to make it. I haven't filmed any bits for the tutorial yet. So I need to do that today as well. And for that, I'm going to take apart my knitting machine which is always a bit annoying. This is why I do wish I had a bit more space. I finally got my contact lenses sorted. Um, I had to cancel the appointment a couple of times, but they're finally in and oh my God, no one prepared me how traumatizing this appointment would be. A man literally put contact lenses with his fingers into my eyes. I blink a lot and he then, earlier, he was like, oh, you have quite a strong blink reflex. And I was like, oh no, I can't help it. But we got through it. And then also when they, obviously you have to then take them out in front of them, put them back in, take them out and put them back in again, I think. I could not get them out for the life of me. And I was stressed. Like the thought of not getting them out and also someone else having to put their fingers in and taking them out was stressing me out. And I was getting really hot and flustered. Um, and I was just so embarrassed. Eventually I did get them out and I do think I know what I'm doing now, but it, is, it was stressful. And then I looked a state afterwards because my nose is still running from when I was cold. My nose was red, 
my eyes were red and I didn't realise how unhinged I looked until I like caught myself in a reflection and people were looking at me like, has this bitch been crying? Afterwards, I went into some charity shops because I was desperately looking for a black jumper for a video that I'm doing. I thought I'd just pop in the charity shop and grab one and I'll be fine. But I then realised that even just finding a good jumper in a charity shop is quite a challenge in itself. And I didn't just want to pick up any jumper. Like I wanted to actually fit me um, and be something that I wear, otherwise that would be a waste. I did realise that all the good knitwear is probably being sold on Vinted and people don't really donate it. Most, like 90% of the knitwear was this like, wear these fine knit pieces, which I'm not big about. I was looking for something chunky and like thick. So I did find one in the end. It's not exactly what I was looking for. I gave up on the hope to find a black jumper or even a cream one I was then like looking for, but it was just not happening. So I got this green wool jumper thing. It's quite long, but I like how oversized it is. And if you saw the like graphic jumper that I made um, with the quote on it, I did crop mine because I made it too long. So I'm even thinking of like cutting it and, and redoing the ribbing um, just with this yarn itself. But I, I thought this would be worth it because it does say like pure wool and it was $4.99, size medium. This is humongous. Obviously that did not stop me from buying other things. I didn't go too crazy. The first one I got was this top. We haven't worked down on our flat and I'm stressing that a man will just appear there, peek through the window. But I got this, um, it's a size 24, but I, thought I would quite like the oversized look. I think it is meant to sit tighter around the boobs here, but that isn't really something I like wearing. And I think this will look so nice. It was giving like a little bit of a gummy vibe. I don't know if I'm reaching here, but I do really like it. Um, this was £6.50. British Heart, or at least the one in our town, in the city centre, so expensive. They were selling stuff for so much money. Anyways, I also got this monkey striped top. And I'm trying to stay away from striped tops because it's just like, once I have a striped top in my wardrobe, that's all I will wear. Um, and I found that quite boring. But this one I think will be a great little basic for autumn. It's a size extra small. And again, this is huge, but maybe it is meant to sit like oversized. And then I just got this white t-shirt. It's quite a thick material, which is nice, but it's really, really long. Um, like mini dress type length, but that's exactly how I think I will wear it, like as a mini dress um, with like some boots and tights. I think that would be quite cool and like slouchy. I actually love this top so much. It really is giving Danny vibes. Like I had a vision and we're seeing it. It's a little bit low cut, but with like a different bra underneath. This will be such a nice slouchy, but kind of fancy top and also anything I now buy I'm always like oh I'm gonna use that as a template to um recreate it like this and loads of different patterns will be so cute I'm so sorry about the knocking I hope this isn't too irritating just working on the arm cuff for the jumper and it's actually coming together fairly well fairly quickly and i think i can publish the tutorial sooner than i was planning to which is amazing because i've been having to push it back for quite some time now i'm enjoying watching it come together and today's actually the first really cold day so i can wear it soon as well today i need to do quite a lot of knitting i'm sat here on my knitting machine i need to finish the two commissions that i had to unravel one of them I scrapped completely um, because I broke it basically as I was unraveling it. Um, so I'm doing that one from scratch. And then the other one, I just need to reattach the arms and redo the top. The unraveling process was a little bit painful just because I seam everything very tightly to make sure that nothing comes undone when I send it off to people, which, you know, I'm glad it's working, but 
it's an absolute pain to take apart, like impossible. Which is why I had to scrap one of the commissions because I just broke it in the process of trying to unravel it. Also, let me show you my setup right now. Here we have my knitting machine, all is normal. I've got my instructions there. And then the TV is behind me. I usually put on YouTube in the background to listen to, but I can't watch it. So I put my little mirror there wait it's really dirty hold on there it is so you can see the youtube video watching in the back and from here i can watch it and it's making time go by a lot faster and easier especially with panels that are just rectangles i'm just knitting back and forth so i don't really need to pay attention and that can get quite boring but this way you can watch my youtube in the back I can't lie, like this week has been really challenging. I think getting ill and then also being away for two days. I was working for two of the days and I just, my week just ran away. Like it would be the end of the day and I just hadn't achieved everything that I needed to achieve. Um, so I've really struggled with just like the balance between social life, work life, learning how difficult it is when you are ill and you are self-employed because no one else is there to do the work for you and I do think it has really slowed me down. On top of all of that I really don't think I am getting enough sleep. I used to swear by an eight to nine hours sleep like every night and that is I think what my body is used to and I'm not hitting those hours at all. My skin is breaking out and spots here on my forehead and I just can't get rid of it. But I do just keep telling myself like these, you know, there, there are phases that are a bit harder and then eventually, you know, things will slow down. I do think if I want things to slow down, that is down to me slowing things down. There are a few changes happening in the next couple of weeks as well. So I hope that after that I can really sort of find a balance, find a routine and maybe sort my priorities out a little bit. I finished my commissions. I actually did it in time. Where have they gone? Oh, here's the first one. Um, It's a whole black little blob, but it's so much better this time and the other one is finished as well um, and I finished in time which is amazing so I'm already dressed uh, ready for the gym which is perfect because usually I leave in a hurry and then I'm stressed when I'm at the gym and that's never fun. I finished the commissions finally let me show you. This is the first one it's like a black meshy um, top with like a mock neck and it's based on the green mesh top on my website. Uh, maybe I can actually try it on for you. So this is it. It has the split like sides and it's see-through and I'm actually obsessed with it. I think I'm gonna have to make one of these for myself because it's perfect for autumn. Um, it's only been steamed, it's not been blocked yet so this will settle down and even out a bit but I literally love it so much and the mock neck was quite tricky to figure out but I'm actually like obsessed with it. Also, I have to whisper because it's like one in the morning, so um, I don't want to wake anyone up. This is the other commission, and it's a like midi dress with a bow here as well. And again, such a cute little autumnal dress. Um, let me put this on for you as well. Again, this has only been steamed and not blocked yet, but it's looking pretty cute. I can't really show you the full length of it. Yeah really obsessed with it. Making these two commissions has been so painful but I've definitely learned from it and I feel like every now and again you do have sort of a bit of a slump type moment but really excited to send these off to the buyers and hopefully they'll love them as much as I do. Um, I'm just gonna end the vlog here. It's been such a full-on week but I really wanted to show you guys some finished pieces and I'm so glad that I was able to. So yeah thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.